Hello. Uh, yes, uh, my name. My name is John Chidaki, and I work at uh, Digital California Digital Library, and I head up a team there that focuses on uh, data management and digital preservation called the UC Curation Center. Um, and I am also the chair of Crossref's DET uh, committee. So I'm just going to talk a little bit about uh, DET. We had a, some, some workshops this morning going into some, some of the aspects of the project. Uh, but really, the focus of my talk is to see how you can get involved, how the publisher and Crossref community can get involved. So at a very basic level, what is DET? Um, it's a tracker. Uh, it attracts events around DOIs. Uh, and it is a technology uh, project that is going to become a hub for collecting this data and making it open so that it can be the metrics around DOIs can be comparable, audible, and portable. So a little history about this space. So many people know altmetrics or article level metrics, um, a field that's been around for over a decade. Um, there's many players in this space, uh, and they're building tools and analysis on top of metrics. Um, there uh, have been, there's names like altmetrics.com or even my alma mater PLOS um, runs an ALM project. Um, these, these, um, this is part of a larger community trying to look at different ways of measuring the impact and the reach of articles. Um, but one of the challenges and kind of the clear problem, problem statement for the community is um, can we have this, that, that, that this underlying metrics are, are closed, they're behind doors, and we want to try to find a way to open up those metrics so that they can be, as I stated before, um, audited and made comparable and portable. So about two years ago, OASPA, members of Crossref, approached Crossref and said, can you help with this, this, this problem? And uh, Crossref Labs created a, a pilot, um, named it DET, uh, DOI Event Tracker, and relied on a software package, an open source software package called Legato, that was developed out of PLOS, um, to um, look at the, the reach and the uh, many sources around Crossref DOIs. Uh, that, uh, that pilot included extending the software to, uh, to more DOIs from the smaller set to the larger Crossref set, as well as looking at ways to transfer information from referring sources to um, Crossref and uh, the, the, the changes needed at the, uh, in the DOI headers. So, you know, just looking at different technical complexities around running a system at this, at this scale. Earlier this year in the summer, the Crossref board approved this as a formal project, and so we are now moving into the rollout phase. So this is really the meat of what I want to talk about, which is um, how you can get involved in the rollout phase um, and where we are now. So um, another um, major milestone for Crossref as an organization is um, trying to think more um, deliberately about how to do product rollouts and do product management. And the product management team at Crossref is working a lot on formalizing those processes. And uh, that includes the technical and product definition around uh, DET as it rolls out. Uh, the hope is that we will have something um, uh, by Q2 of next year or this, you know, which is the three-month span. So earlier today, I heard summer. So uh, uh, you know, uh, next year. Um, but in the process of moving from the pilot and the working group structure to the um, the rollout plan for these products, we saw that what we were referring to as DET was actually two separate issues. And so I just wanted to quickly kind of go through what we're now calling DET and DUL. Um, this is the the diagram that kind of shows the interactions around this hub. And you can see there that there are many sources, and the, the way that the underlying DET software works is there are many sources that we are tracking. And many of those sources, may um, we may need to pull information from them. So the software will actually go out and pull information about the DOIs. Um, we're also going out and asking um, the, so the sources themselves to push information. And so because of the scale that we're at, we're going to these individual sources, uh, Wikipedia being one of them, uh, asking them to start pushing uh, metrics into DET. But as I mentioned before, there is a separate issue that we've launched as well in parallel, which is the DUL um, effort, which is a, stands for distributed usage logging. And that is around the idea of utilizing the same technical infrastructure we're putting in place for DET to transfer usage logs uh, between sources and publishers. Um, so it's, it's using the same technical infrastructure, but it's not um, utilizing that shared open hub. 
so back to DET, um, we uh, learned about it a little bit this morning. There are hundreds of sources we will we hope to get to um, with this project, but the hope is that in um, Q2 of next year that we launch with uh, sources you see up on the slide here. Um, and also, you, I mean, th these are sources that are you know um, well known, like Facebook and Orchid, as well as Reddit and Mendeley. Um, we're wanting to expand these, and one of the things that we want to expand into is actually publisher information. So may maybe not what you'll hear in the first couple months of the next couple months as we're rolling out the first round of DET, but as it launches and as we're moving forward, we're really hoping that that one of the sources for pushing information into DET will be publishers. Um, usage, information, usage information and other metrics that you're collecting would be great to, to move up into an open clearinghouse. So Crossref has um, uh, just a high level idea of a plan right now, still going through membership and fees committee approval and the, the process. Um, but right now the, the hope is that we will launch next year with um, um, a free open uh, API for and access to the DET uh, information, and um, a, maybe a, a second tier that would have guaranteed API access and SLA agreement or something like that for tools developers to to rely on um, guaranteed uptime. But really, the the goal here is to um, create a set of information, a set of metrics for publishers, tools providers, everybody to work from. Um, that's open and can be so that it can be audited and we can really take a look at the information around um, the the DOIs. And this URL here is the place for you as a publisher and the wider community to uh, to sign up uh, an interest sign up sheet. So please um, mark it down, uh, go fill it out. We'd love to get more information. Um, the product team here, uh, Jennifer Lynn is here to answer more questions or or if anybody has any questions now, um, I can take them. Oh, yes, yes. So does this replace altmetrics.com? Oh, yes, so the question is, does this replace altmetrics.com? Uh, the answer is no. So I think what we uh, are trying to do here is build a repository of open data that all vendors and publishers can start to use to really um, make the field of altmetrics and article level metrics more robust, uh, more open, uh, more mature, something that really only an organization like Crossref can do. Um, individual vendors or individual publishers can't do this, so really the power of Crossref is building this, these types of initiatives. And so we hope that vendors like Altmetrics and others that are they're currently in this process and have been in part of the, work, the working groups, and we're hoping that they will continue to be involved and will utilize this same type of, this same information for their, their, their projects as well. You have, uh, there is two issues here. One issue is obviously uh, when you track a system is archival, which is really the same as citation, but the other one is uh, basically non-archival, like Wikipedia, Reddit, and those kind. Do you have to rely on the publisher to feed you this information, or you can go on the web and crawl the web and get those information? Right. Which approach are you taking, and uh, which is more effective? So the approach we're taking is uh, each of those entities we're calling sources. So Reddit or Wikipedia are considered sources. And uh, we can take two, we, we, without the publisher, we're able to have an arrangement with those sources to, to either grab information, so regularly crawling and pulling information from Reddit, or working with them and um, having them push that information into DET as well. So for example, with Wikipedia, we've already established a push model with them. So we are working, we mean Crossref, we're working with, uh, with um, Wikipedia to have them push information. And the hope is that uh, Reddit and others will adopt a similar push model. It's more effective than you crawl and get instant from you. Yes, yeah. At the volume that we have, it's more effective for them to tell us when things occur than for us to constantly ping and ask. So we're hoping that more and more sources will, uh, will adopt this for sure. So I'm, I'm using the word we um, because in the greater cross-ref community sense of the uh, we, which just includes you. Uh, yeah. We have a sense of the, uh, the number, the quantity of DOIs found in Wikipedia. 
Um, if you turn around and ask Jeff Builder right behind you, he can give you an exact number. <laughs> or maybe uh, the question was, what is the, the number, of, number of DOIs in Wikipedia? So actually, I'll, de I'll defer. Um, the the information that we have at the moment is that we know how many DOIs are, um, are, are clicked through. So in the, if you actually look at the DOI chronograph, which is something that we released earlier, you can see um, that the, um, Wikipedia is about probably the fifth largest refer of DOIs of any site. Um, and um, so it's a, it's a very big refer of DOIs. We don't actually have an exact count of the number of uh, DOIs that are cited, um, largely because the data that we were gathering, we paused on the pilot, and so we don't have updated data about that. But we will soon. Why uh, does that give you some info? It's a follow-up question then. How, uh, do you have a sense of the number of referrers that we get from Wikipedia in the drop-off between, say, three and five? Or four and five. Uh, um, <coughs> again, I mean, I can I can go and look on the chronograph. I don't have it off the top of my head. But uh, I mean, as you would expect with all of these things, it goes down quite substantially. You know, the top three are really huge, and then four and five are much smaller, and then it tails off. So it's sort of like a you know, it's the classic uh, long tail of stuff. But it's 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 high up there. It's a lot of traffic. And I mean, there's another thing that you can look at if you look at uh, recently blogged. Um, uh, link to the live Wikipedia feed, and I'll look for somebody from Crossref to retweet that. Um, you'll see that um, you know you can routinely see uh, on the live feed of Wikipedia activity, um, you know, up to like eight to ten DOI being added or removed from the Wikipedia in any sort of five-minute slot. Uh, so it's a lot. You know, I mean, you know, DOIs are constantly being added to and removed from uh, the Wikipedia. Which um, goes back to the earlier question of the push versus pull model. I mean, that, that the push model of uh, Wikipedia pushing information to DET facilitates that kind of change log activity of being being able to know when things uh, in real time are being added or removed. Uh, so to uh, follow up on that, uh, would the DET be would you be archiving uh, if a DOI is used on a Wikipedia page if it's later removed or something, or is it more of a snapshot? Um, yes. Yes. <laughs> Great presentation. Have you considered um, either a funder repository or institutional repository as a source also? Um, well, all the information is it will be uh, openly available, and as we were, we were talking this morning about the API being open and then available to cross uh, connect with the Crossref uh, metadata API. So I don't know if there's necessarily uh, is it, there. Jennifer Lynn is nodding that there are plans to make institution and and funder specific dashboards. Or that's not actually. I'm talking about oh. adding to your sources. Right. So, and I think that the the power there is really being able to cross. So, how right? So, I think so what is Howard's question? question is is it is it is could a repository, for instance, push usage data into the? Is that DT? what you're? Oh, then yeah, I know the answer to that question. Um, the answer is yes. Um, we're looking for institutions and funders and IRs to also be sources. So, as I when I was mentioning publishers, but I mean. Any, any place that's recording usage um, or has usage should be great to push up. And then also, as I was mentioning earlier, there is a separate initiative uh, called DUL to be able to transmission, transmit uh, private information. And so if there was use cases that uh, those IRs or in institutions wanted to have uh, you know, a direct connection with publishers, they could utilize that as well. Uh, interesting presentation. Um, I happen to belong to three organizations, the Institute of Navigation, the IEEE, and the Royal Institute of Navigation, two of which use DOIs and one doesn't. Okay. So my question to you is, uh, do you have any data how many journals 
use DOIs versus they don't and how you deal with them. Oh, yeah. I, I personally don't have that information. I don't know. Do, do we, does Crossref track the kind of distribution of journals using DOIs versus not DOIs? Yeah. Yeah. I know that I know though that um like at the at CDL we have journals that are running off of arcs and right, not DOIs. So I mean it does there, happen. Right? So the question is you know you're going to have a mix and match of sure. references and you have the publisher that they're required to you know cite the references, okay? So mm -hmm. you need to have a mechanism you don't have to assign DOIs to journals that don't have DOIs, but you need to deal, instead of having a blank space, mm -hmm. you need to, f to deal with that, I think. Yeah, I mean, th this functionality is really going to use the DOI resolver functionality right. to track that usage, but I, I completely understand what you're saying. Because I mean, that we is have a lot of valuable information. You know? Definitely. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it'd be great if everybody used DOIs. Right. Excuse me, I don't know what I understand is right or no. In my my means, I, I understand maybe D D E T just like D O I index. <laughs> I guess maybe uh, for each membership can get the report because you know we can find the back backyard. <laughs> so what's happened? Maybe for each membership, maybe can get the information about the D E R D E T. No. Um, so there is a blog post that went up um, that describes in more detail um, the plans for DET that include this list of sources. Um, and the plan is to roll out DET in Q2 of next year, and it would be an open API for you to explore, and you would be able to, based on your, your, your publisher, look up information. Um, being tracked. How can you integrate this in social networking, like Facebook, for example, if somebody using a DOI, mm -hmm. can you have access uh, to social networking to keep track of those? Yeah, I mean, that's really where this comes out, it comes from, right, is the, the altmetrics world of trying to capture more, um, more of the activity around a DOI than uh, traditional citation metrics or usage metrics um, are capturing. And so, um, as you can see up there, one of the sources that we'll be wor working to include with launch is Facebook. So when people are talking about DOI's uh, research objects within Facebook, we will be capturing that and reporting that out, um, likes and discussions um, within Facebook. Why not Twitter? Um, we're hoping Twitter, actually. Uh, we, I didn't put it down because it's not a guaranteed uh, thing right now, but uh, the product team at Crossref is hard at work trying to secure that information. Uh, you, you mentioned the repositories. Will you also be getting data from academia.edu and ResearchGate? Yeah, I mean, the, the, the goal here, I mean, this is uh, hundreds of possible uh, sources. I think the goal here is to include all of them. Um, and for this list to grow. And it really will take the community to get involved and for those entities to not only rely on us pulling information, but also then building the mechanism to push information. And so this becomes a hub for people to start collecting and pushing metrics into a single place. <laughs> 